Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm very excited because we have this 2022 Ford Maverick. This one is a XLT and this one has the 2.0 and it's front wheel drive. And I have Moses here with me today just to share some thoughts and go over some questions. So starting off here in the front, all Mavericks have this uh, style headlight except for the Lariat. Lariat does have a LED accent on the top, but all the other Mavericks have the LED lighting. It's a standard bulb for the turn signal. Uh, no fog lights on any of the Mavericks, but you can get tow hooks on like the FX4 and stuff. <laughs> what are you doing? I was gonna turn the lights on so you can see them. Oh, okay. So yeah, you can see LED projectors. And if I get a chance, I'll do a night review so you guys can see what the headlights look like at night. See if they light up the road very nicely. We have these. What are these? Are these? These are 17 inch painted uh, cast aluminum rims. Okay. And they're actually a really nice style this time. They did a really different look for the XLT. I like the Continental Pro Contact tires. Continental's German. It's an extremely good brand. But what's really neat about these ones is that the gray matches, like the brake dust won't show on a rim like this. So this is a super positive thing from Ford. They got the five lug nuts and I guess they're the same size as the F-150, which is really cool. Oh yeah, and it also has a black Ford center cap that's kind of cool as well. Pretty beefy tires, they are 225-65R17s. See we have the XLT badge on the side right here, and just plastic uh, mirror caps. This one does have blind sound monitoring. This one does not have smart key access because it is a XLT, you have to step up to Lariat to get that. But you do have this cool keyless entry pad right here. And in case you guys are wondering, this is Oxford White. And coming along to the back here, this one does have, uh, this one was originally a special order. So the person put a uh, tonneau cover on there, which we will open up and see how it is. You can get to this bottom one, these release somehow. There's a, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> that wire, you pull the wire to release it. So there's these little wires. Oh, okay. You pull the wire. Okay. You pull the wire and you can release it. This is going to create a really nice utility to put some extra stuff back here. Oh, Safety. yeah. Yeah, that's pretty very, cool. Very, very nice. And the payload on this one is uh, around 1,400 some pounds. I'll show you guys on the door in a second. But uh, let's just look inside here real quick. Uh, I guess there's there's nothing right there. Um, no, that particular model they come with a they come with a blank, but it does give you your little QR code to scan. And Ford's going to give you several ideas for this flex bed in order to create like your own situation. If you guys have mountain bikes or something like that, they show you how to make a rack for it. There's so many ideas. This oh, particular yeah. one over here, as you can see, so you do have the storage, and then you can lift it up with or even more storage in there. Things deep too. It's nice. And then uh, this is uh, like a USB, or you can make this like a USB or something, right? This Actually, thing? these ones can come out. You can wire lights, LED lights. Ford did oh, it yeah. pre-wired. That's pretty cool. It's really cool because you had guys before wiring into their main system. They were daisy chaining off of the tail lights. Mm -hmm. This is much safer, much nicer, and it comes from Ford, so you can't go wrong. Yep. And then just standard bolts for the turn signal, reverse light, brake lights, everything like that. Easily upgraded though. Show them the uh, the two like tailgate yes, position thing. Absolutely. So when we're gonna go ahead and tow, or like this is designed for people that are gonna go pick up the four by eight sheets of drywall. Oh yeah, there you go. You can set it up if you're doing a little DIY at the house or if you're doing a small project. It makes for a it makes for a great situation because it's got oh, a yeah. lot of strength. But as you can see, these ones like. A lot of guys have gone over, but seeing is believing, seeing in person is really nice. Mm -hmm. You can set those four by eight sheets right over the top of those wheel walls, and then they can come out to here. This is going to cover six feet, so you're only going to carry two feet out. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. You can put your tie straps down on there, and it's excellent for convenience. And this is a four and a half foot bed, right? Or Correct. is it? Yeah, okay, four and, four and a half foot bed. And then uh, okay. that is actually perfectly flat with the tailgate as well. So that's pretty cool if they did that. The neat thing about that will support up to 500 pounds, so it's actually pretty, pretty decent. This is okay. a regular tow package, so we're going to get a four pin. We'll get the four pin for small towing. This one's uh, designed to tow 2,000 pounds. It is okay. the 2.0, so technically to tow the 4,000, but with the 4K tow package, you're going to get the upgraded radiator. You're going to oh, get yeah. the beefier internals. There's a little upgrade on your on your torque converter for the transmission in order to tow more weight. So that's and it does have the, a different like gear ratio too, The right? gear ratio is better for towing, and it's kind of designed mm -hmm. around it. Radiator's a big deal because obviously you're keeping the engine cooler, you're keeping the tranny cooler. Mm -hmm. But the new transmission, man. So the 2.0 with the front wheel drive can tow around 2,000 pounds? It'll tow 2,000 pounds okay. unless it has the 4K tow package. Okay, and then this one has, is that a manual sliding? Yes, or it's is manual that a power? sliding. Okay. Yeah, you cannot get the power sliding in an XLT. It's manual only, but a lot of guys like it. Yeah, see if you can. Okay, yeah, very easy to this open up. This is so neat. Yeah, that's cool. Get some air ventilation in there if you need it. And I'll show you guys the side one more time before we uh, check under the hood and see what we're working with. Yep. 
And again, if you guys are curious about like the height and everything, I'm about 6'5 and I stand about like, I'd say like right here on the truck. So I am a little bit taller than the truck and this one does have a summer. All right guys, just pop the hood. You can see we do not have a hood liner on this one, but this one does have a 2.0 four cylinder, has 250 horsepower and 277 pound feet of torque. And like I mentioned earlier, this one is front wheel drive. And let's go ahead and check the window sticker real quick just to see what the MPG is. Uh, it is 23 city, 30 highway, and 26 combined for the 2.0 front wheel drive. And in case you guys are curious to see what the window sticker is, here's all the options on this specific one. And this one comes out to be $28,005. So, not too bad. All right guys, open up the door panel here. Uh, it is a hard touch up here, but you have a soft touch right here. And then right here is where you can put a long uh, water bottle if you have like one of those, uh, what do you call those? Hydro flask. And then we have automatic down for the driver, just automatic down only. And then these seats are really, really nice. Really nice seats. They look kind of like the XLT F-150, would you agree? Oh, absolutely. They yeah. look kind of like this. They're very similar. It's like a soft material, but it's still durable. It's really nice. Yeah, and then it has this nice orange accent stitching on there. Manual adjustments for the driver. It does. It can go up and down and then forward and backward. And then the backrest you can adjust. Then over here, we have automatic lighting. This is to turn on your uh, high mount uh, brake light back there to light up the bed. And you have a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. But let's go ahead and hop inside. All right, guys, this is what the key looks like on the XLT. It is just a standard key uh, with the switchblade. Put it in here. Oh. Looking at the gauge cluster, it's uh, more of a basic gauge cluster, but it looks nice nonetheless. Has all the information you'd want in there. You can scroll through a few things. My view. Uh, you can have it display your fuel economy there, your driver's assist technology, all that stuff right here. But we'll just put it on uh, speed for now. So let's go here and go to the speedometer. Look in the middle here, you can see we have the sync. Uh, this is a sync 3.4, is it? It's a, it's a, th a sync three system, and it's actually very, very good for uh, for uh, very good for Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. This one doesn't have the voice commands. Does um, it have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay? Yes, it does. It comes standard. Yes, it does. It does? Mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. Um, the other thing that's neat about it is it's a real responsive screen. Now, Ford did use the older system, but they did upgrades to make it work and mm -hmm. run really well. You'll notice the touch sensitivity is out of this world. You're in good shape on the truck. As far as the beauty of it, it's clean everywhere. And, and I mean, as far as the interior goes, these guys really did a good job. You see these lines are so tight. I really like this material. That recycled material, I guess, is what kept the cost down for Ford. Ford was trying to keep the cost down because mm -hmm. the customers are saying, look, give us a good durable interior, but be eco-friendly. So Ford decided to go all out and they used the recycled plastics and they used so many different composite materials in order to come out with something that was really strong and durable, clean. Yep, we have manual, uh, actually no, we have automatic, single zone automatic climb control here. Uh, this is to adjust your different drive modes, which you can see in here. We have tow haul, slippery, eco, sport, and normal. And then this is your traction control, your auto start stop, and then this is the auto hold. You got your electronic parking brake and then your gear shifter. And one thing I noticed is that it's kind of like the Mach-E where you can just keep spinning it once you hit the end. It's not like the escapes in Bronco Sport where it stops. So that's kind of interesting that they chose to do it that way. Then, uh, like you said, we got the USB, USB-C. A lot of storage in here, a lot of areas where you can put your phone. Another area in here where you can put, yeah, see, there you go. Then you have, Oh wow, it's actually pretty big in there, huh? Very, very roomy. Yep. You could fit some stuff in there if you needed to, absolutely. No light, but again, it's, they're trying to keep the cost down and everything. And then glove box is pretty decent size, no light in there either. It's damp too, it's a damped glove box. Yeah, you can open it up and it's it'll like, open slowly. It's very soft and nice, it's a high quality for what it is. Yep, and then you have a uh, little storage up here. Sunglasses. Just a standard uh, mirror, no auto dimming, anything like that. But you do have a power sunroof, you can see there opens up oh my god this is cool <laughs> yeah and then you have led interior lighting let's go ahead and check it out yep led interior lighting we have just uh standard vanity, vanity mirrors uh no illumination on this one it'll be interesting to see if the larry has illumination they both telescope though yeah that's nice it can block the sun and then just a standard steering wheel uh no leather wrap on this one you have to get a uh, xlt luxury package right to get Correct. the leather wrap and then this one does have just standard cruise control but well, let's go and check out the back seat real quick and see if I can fit behind myself at 6'5". All right, guys, so hopping inside the back seat, you can see we have soft touch right here. So basically the same as the front. It's hard touch up here, soft touch right here. You still have that same usability that you can do for like the long bottles, stuff like that. And then you can hop inside here. Okay, so 
Obviously, I'm a taller individual than other people. Let's see if I can close the door without smashing my leg. Okay, so it is a little bit tight back here, but I'd say it feels about the same as a Bronco Sport in the back. But like I said, I am tall and I had this seat all the way back. And then uh, we have a 12 volt right here. Hopefully you guys can see it. And then this is for you can uh, put some accessories and stuff right there. You can buy a little thing to hang on to there, have some accessories. And this one does have a armrest, which is nice for the back passengers. And you also have some uh, speakers back there. They didn't put in the door so that you can have more storage. So it's kind of smart. They put it in the area right there. And then you have your manual sliding rear window. All right, Moses, so how tall are you? I'm 5'9". Five 5'9", nine. Five nine, and you can see plenty of leg room. Ten tons. And the seat was comfortable in the front as well. Very, very, okay. this is wonderful. Yep, so you have good leg room in the front and the back. And before we close up the back seat, I want to show you guys underneath. You can open this up and you do have some storage underneath there where you can put some stuff. And actually, it's pretty deep. You can see a lot of storage you can put in there. So not bad at all. All right, guys, now let's take this Maverick for a quick spin. Go like that. You can see it shows the two seat belts are plugged in. All right, let's get going. Digi see how it drives. Digital speedometer, this thing's cool. Yep. So right off the bat, one thing I'm noticing is that the trans is very smooth in comparison to other eight speeds that I've driven. It's actually really smooth. Well, once we get out onto the street, we will uh, test out the acceleration won't do anything crazy, but we will test it out. And being that this truck is so small, it's easy to navigate in a small parking lot like this. Easy to park, easy to drive around. You're not sitting up like terribly high. It's actually quite low. It feels like you're in an SUV. So yeah, very smooth so far. Andre! You're on camera now. What's up? I'm doing a little video of the Maverick. I want to hear your thoughts on it too. Um, what are your thoughts on the Maverick so far? I like it. It looks like a mamalon, you know? It's like a little truck that's a little lowered. I mean, that's what I had to say about it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Andre, you're going to go on the ride with us. But yeah, like I said, trans is very smooth. You can't almost even feel it shifting. It's so smooth. We'll have to test out some sport mode too, huh, Moses? Absolutely. <laughs> Got to give it a shot. See what this Actually, let, do. Let's, uh, let's go into sport mode right now. Okay, let me get rid of this seatbelt reminder thing. Sport mode, boom, there we go. Turns the car back on because it knows that you're trying to drive fast. And it'll be interesting to test out the traction too with this front wheel drive. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> wow, it's actually really impressive acceleration wise. Now that's with three of us in here. Wow, that's not bad at all actually. You got two big boys too. Yeah, two big boys. Andre, how much are you? 350? <laughs> no, just kidding. 270. Wait, are you really? Yep. I'm 240 and you're like 120. So 120? I'm not that light. I'm 170. <laughs> oh, okay. 120. <laughs> so we have over 600 pounds. Yeah, we have a whole bunch of weight in here and the car still took off. So that's really impressive. And the ride, what do you think of the ride, Andre? It's pretty smooth, huh? Oh, yeah. It's yeah, very, it's really smooth. It's not bouncy. It's you're not like bouncing really, all over the place. It's like really well damped. It's a very damped ride. It feels... It just feels higher quality than the price would suggest. It's crazy. Yeah, it really does. Moses, are you like all the way back? Uh, no, I can move forward if you need room. Oh yeah, yeah Moses has a whole bunch of room in the front. I have, I have good leg room. I'm comfortable, bro. Yeah, me too. Yeah, see, Andre says he has good leg room. How tall are you, Andre? Six foot. Six feet. So, someone that's six feet tall sitting in front of, or sitting behind someone that's, what, five foot? What's I'm that? five nine. Five nine? Yeah. Plenty of room, so. It's shocking. Two full, you got three full grown men in a car with over 600 pounds weight and it runs like it's empty. It I just know. runs awesome. We'll test it out again here. And this is the front wheel drive version. So this one should be a little bit lighter than the all wheel drive version. So it might feel a little bit quicker once you're already moving. Okay, let's get it on a little bit here. Dang. <laughs> That's not bad at all. Brakes are good too. Like we're slowing down. The Take testers, this corner. The testers have gotten zero to 60 in 6.3 with the 2.0. Wow. In all wheel drive or front wheel. Yeah, that's very impressive. Let's go back into normal here. Yeah, it's not bad at all. So much torque too, you don't have to like ring the engine out. No. The 2.0's got magic in it. That EcoBoost really got some move. <laughs> yeah, it does. 277 pound feet of torque, so in a lightweight vehicle like this. Power to rate, weight, weight ratio is the key in a vehicle like this. It's so magical. So nice. Yeah, it just gets up and goes. 
not bad at all so yeah overall impressions of the maverick i think it's great especially for the price what do you think moses I, if i have to put a score on it and judging on a very stringent scale mm -hmm. if you're counting for value and you're counting for ride quality i would have to say it's actually an a plus there you go andre we gotta get your thoughts too uh yeah man i mean i would get this over anything really unless it's a would you get it over a uh, escape? One thousand percent. Over Eco Sport? One hundred percent. I know you like the Eco Sport quite a bit. I know, that's Jacob, my favorite. Uh, Jacob likes the Ranger. Yeah, definitely. He loves the Ranger. The Eagle. And Ranger. <laughs> but uh, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe, let me know what you guys think of the Maverick, and uh, I will see you in the next one.